So First Lady Jill Biden has been a fixture in the courtroom in Wilmington, Delaware for Hunter Biden's gun trial. She is the First Lady of the United States, the wife of President Joe Biden, and also the mother of Hunter Biden. She is not his biological mother, but she's the mother that he's known pretty much his entire life after his biological mother and baby sister were killed in a car crash decades ago. The, for, the fact that the First Lady has been traveling back and forth between Wilmington, Delaware and France is highlights how important family is to the Bidens overall and how important it is to the First Lady that she take time out of her schedule to be in court to support her son and also to be there as a representative of President Joe Biden, who cannot be in the courtroom because that would pre present a clear conflict of interest. Naomi Biden is also at the courthouse testifying in her father's defense. She arrived accompanied by her husband, Peter Neal. Under questioning, she said that she became aware of her father's drug addiction sometime after her uncle, Beau Biden, died in 2015. Ali Biden was married to Beau Biden and became romantically involved with Hunter Biden after her husband's death in 2015. She's a prosecution witness and she has testified that she found Hunter's gun in his truck, panicked, threw it away at a local grocery store, and then couldn't find it when he asked her to go back to get the gun. Police later discovered it. Kathleen Buell is Hunter Biden's ex-wife. She's the mother of three of his children. She's a prosecution witness and told the court that she was worried and scared when she found Hunter's crack pipe in an ashtray on the porch of their home in July 2015, a few weeks after Beau Biden's death. 